All right, guys, in this video today, I'm going to tell you about the top three token projects that are launching this week. This is one that you don't want to miss. So if you're excited for this video, make sure that you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and let's get into it. All right, guys, before we get into these three projects, I want to remind you a word of caution. I'm telling you guys about these projects because there is an opportunity for you to get involved in all three of them. There are public sales, and one of them is actually a private sale that you can get into. But of course, these are all done by luck of the draw or a raffle or a lottery or something like that. So if you're not able to get into one of these public or private sales, then it's a good idea to pay attention to this when it launches, but be careful because oftentimes we see these things pump like crazy and then often people are taking profits and there comes a sell off. I always encourage people to watch carefully and if it starts pumping like crazy before you've been able to put a buy order in, just relax. Don't have FOMO, relax because inevitably more than likely what usually happens 97 or 8% of the time is we see a crazy big old pump and then a big old dump and then you see some really wild volatility and then you start to see it kind of level out and then we kind of have price discovery. Now, at that point, you can take a breath, relax, do some analytics, understand where the market cap is. Remember, you should be watching my videos and subscribing and watching all of these because I teach you guys how to research things that are very important at this step when things mellow out because you have to look at things like the total supply versus the circulating supply and understand how much potential inflation can be coming over the course of, let's say, the next six or 12 months. This is incredibly important, incredibly important. So let's get into the first one, guys. The first one that we're going to talk about today is called Fame, Fame MMA. Now, I have just recently learned about this, and it's a really, really cool idea. In fact, this company has been around since 2018. Now, what it is, essentially, it started in Central Europe. They call it the greatest freak show or freak fight on the planet. Now, it's celebrities like TikTokers, Instagrammers, movie stars, YouTube stars, all these guys, and they come and they battle each other total MMA style. It's like UFC for superstars. And normally I would say, you know, this is something, this doesn't really have a, a real good use case for a token. But when I dove in deeper to this project, I found out there was actually a lot of good use utility for this token. And they are really going to try to integrate this deeply into the ecosystem, doing things like making people pay for pay-per-view using the token. Now, pay-per-view won't be taking the token directly, but what I'm told from the project founders, they're gonna actually be taking the revenue generated from pay-per-view sales to buy back the token and burn it. Like, that's pretty incredible because these guys are getting a ton of views. They've got like over 5 million pay-per-view purchases. They have 120 million YouTube streams. And for every match, they have 14,000 in-house spectators. So this is something that are really going to dive into deeply on the token econ side of things. I haven't verified this yet, so go do your own research. But I'm told that they're going to have two play to earn games coming this year that have to do with the whole fame MMA franchise. And of course, these games will be play to earn, have NFTs and use the token in game as well. So you've got IRL in real life token utility for things. Also things like merch and everything like that. You'll get discount on merch if you use the tokens and of course in game as well. And of course they will eventually build metaverse and these kind of things also. Another thing to note is that they're actually going to be franchising this to go global because while this is incredibly popular in central Europe, imagine how popular this will get if it goes into the mainstream, let's say Hollywood. So let's imagine that you've got like Snoop Dogg fighting Dr. Dre or like, I don't know, Kelly Clarkson fighting Taylor Swift, for example. Like these things would go freaking insane. All right, guys. And lastly, about Fame MMA, this is launching on a launch pad that is quite unique. See, whereas launch pads like Paid Ignition and Dowmaker and Pokestarter, where they're launching IDOs quite often, sometimes as much as a few times a week, this launch pad right here, Tencent.io, uh, they're doing something different. So they're only launching one IDO or public sale every quarter or so. And they have a pretty successful track record. The few projects they've launched already are ones like Meta Hero, which did over 170X within the first few weeks, as well as Everdome, which did 92X within the first week. So they have a good track record and they take their time and do proper marketing, identify great projects, 
and bring them to you. So if you're interested, go check that out. Make sure you do your own research first and let's dive into the next project. So the next one guys is BreederDAO. Now let me show you this website because I actually really love it. Now BreederDAO is quite unique. So people say that the people that got rich during the gold rush back in California back in the day weren't the gold miners themselves, but it was the people selling the picks and shovels. Now BreederDAO is attempting to take a similar approach. So I've been vocal in the past saying that guilds don't have the best token economy. But if you look at people who are supplying infrastructure for guilds with a play to earn ecosystem, these are the ones who are probably going to have really successful models. So we see someone coming out with innovation. This is breeder Dow and breeder Dow essentially is doing all of the breeding for guilds. So guilds have a high demand for play to earn assets. Now, a lot of these games require breeding, like to, to create new NFTs. You have to take this NFT and this NFT, breed them together, use some tokens. And over time, this little baby NFT grows to a bigger NFT with more powers and more strength and this and that. But that all takes time and energy and patience. Now, these guilds don't want to do that. They don't want to go through the whole process. It's a burden for them to do it. They would much rather just acquire these NFTs from someone like Breeder Dow and be able to go directly to market and start earning yields from their scholars. Breeder Dow has 100,000 NFTs already supplied to guilds. They've got 300 partner guilds and over 20 partner games already active today. Now you want to look at a powerhouse of a project. Let's go down and see the institutional partners or the backers. You've got Andreessen Horowitz, A16Z, Delphi Digital, Hashed. You got Sphermon, Mechanism Capital. You got the Lao, a sense of asset. You've got a lot of really talented and smart money backing this project. Now the team is pretty smart too. I've had the pleasure to meet Renz. He's an amazing guy and really passionate about what he's doing and makes me even believe in this project even more. Now they have a powerhouse of advisors as well. They've got Gabby Dizon. He's one of the founders of Yield Guild Games. You got Piers Kicks, who's the founding partner of Delphi Digital, one of the best research and intelligence divisions in the entire crypto industry. You got Do Kwan, otherwise known as Stable Kwan, the man from Terraform Labs himself. And you got Ryan Watts from Polygon Studios. As you can see from their Twitter account here, uh, they're going to be doing their public token launch starting on the 26th and ending on the 29th. This is going to be in the form of the auction. So I encourage you guys to go follow them on Twitter. It is at breeder Dow and go learn how the auction works. This is something that you have to pay attention to. Don't ape in right away. Take your time, learn how the auction works and decide if this is something that you want to go into or not. Now, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, this is a project that isn't actually doing the public launch this week. This is doing their private launch on paid ignition. Now this is called iconic iconic. And we can see the website here. Iconic is essentially NBA top shots for esports. Now this is a brilliant idea. So if you're not familiar with NBA top shots is essentially it just has taken the idea of the playing card. Now, when I was a kid, I used to collect different playing cards from sports athletes, you know, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan and Babe Ruth, like all these celebrities, celebrities, athletes that I used to collect their trading cards for. Now, Iconic is doing the exact same thing for esports. Now, I talked about this time and time and time again on my channel that esports is exploding. It is becoming absolutely massive. In fact, it is surpassing a lot of the other sports industries. And just like legacy sports, esports has celebrities as well. In fact, Ninja, who's one of the most famous esports players and streamers, is one of the highest paid athletes in the entire planet. And people absolutely love this guy. He's got a huge following. This guy gets tens of thousands of views every time he streams any of his gameplay. So people absolutely love this guy. Now, what Iconic is doing, and which they already have an MVP, essentially they're allowing you to screen record your gameplay and directly create an NFT from that. So in NBA Top Shots, when LeBron James goes and shoots that game winning three pointer. That is an iconic moment. That is when you want to take a snapshot and then those trading cards are going to go out in the market. Every kid who loves basketball or dad or family, whatever, they're going to want that trading card to remember that iconic moment. Now the same thing is going to happen in esports when you have a crazy battle Royale or any type of game, let's say you're playing call of duty and you make that iconic headshot. That is a game winning kill. You're going to want that to be an NFT. And so this is what iconic is doing. It is bringing you the legacy collector card idea, bringing that NFTs and bring it to esports. This is radical and super innovative. And it's going to follow in my opinion, just like NBA top shots. However, 
I'm way more bullish on esports than I am on legacy sports. Therefore, this is why I'm very bullish on Iconic, and you guys can go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up today. Make sure you go check out my other channel, Kyle's Crypto Alpha, because I drop alpha for you there every single day on what I'm learning on a day-to-day -day basis. So as I learn, you get to learn with me in real time. I will catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.